Hot Rod Rowdy Piper will forever be one of my favorite entertainers to ever walk this earth. We will talk about the wrestler, the actor, and the icon today on Toy Games. Toy Games! Yes! You and me, baby! Toy Games! I can't take it anymore! It's Toy Games! I figured possibly somebody out there would at least like a chance. <laughs> Hulk Hogan said something about it's the size of the fight in the dog. <laughs> I ain't never been to compare to no dog because I don't come from no dog. <laughs> it says you kick Cindy Lauper and <laughs> how could you kick a woman? I says, you know, I'm an equal opportunist. I, you know, a woman hits me, I'll, I'll knock her out. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. It says you took that, that poor old hat. Love, well, you can't start the story without, of course, the wrestler. And the wrestler he was, was someone that helped propel WrestleMania. Specific, specifically, the first two WrestleManias to really get it off the ground running. Um, he, whether it be versus Bad News Brown, when he infamous, infamously painted half of his face black to really... Ignite the crowd, piss people off, and be, he was a really, really good villain. And and I hated the man. And then I, I continued to hate him when he feuded with Hogan. And I continued to hate him as a kid when he feuded with, um, when he boxed uh, Mr. T. It, it, he was the guy you love to hate and and then he he served a purpose and he knew his role and, and it wasn't too late till later on where, when he became somewhat of a baby face and he was always always uh you know whether it be in piper's pit and and hitting jimmy snooker with a coconut there was always a, a part of piper that you didn't know if he was good bad what you were going to get jake the snake was like that as well but Piper did it first. Piper probably did it better. And it was truly something to behold. And, and again, it really, really got WrestleMania off the ground. It wasn't really just Hogan. It was people like Roddy Piper. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So many years ago, I used to be on figure, figure Realm a lot. This is like 2010. Um, I am one of the first people to make, well, I was, uh, I'm not saying this to be, to be some like bragger. I mean, I guess it is a humble brag, they call it, but I was the first person to make a They Live Not A figure on Figure Realm. You can go back and check the dates. I used to be Toy Guru. This is before I, I knew who Scott Nilek was. And that's, I love Guru, the rapper, and I love toys, so I became Toy Guru, and then I found out Scott Nilek existed, and I used to lift weights a lot, and I cl always collected toys, so I became Toy Gains. That's that little backstory. But, you know, a bunch of people asked me this recipe for the Nada figure, and then they stole it and never gave me credit, and it kind of, it kinda, I kind of got sour grapes over um, figure realm because whenever I make a figure like I've, I've made a um like uh space ghost out of a McFarlane figure and I, I shouted out ink drop cost customs because that's where I saw it I mean that's just the right thing to do a couple of bunch of people would ask me this recipe wouldn't give me props but the actor you know I, I love him as an actor probably better than a wrestler I love his performance in They Live. It's iconic. I met the man in 2008 at Newburgh Free Academy, Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe, and Piper was the hype man. He was the one talking to all of us in the crowd, and and he would go, you know, he would go on tangents. But it was it was even when you didn't know, didn't know what the hell he was talking about, you paid attention because he was so passionate. And he did a meet and greet, and here's a picture of Rowdy Piper. 
putting me in the sleeper and, and he told me to tap if it got too tight. And before I could ask why it would get too tight, he choked the shit out of me. I had a red ring on my neck for two weeks and I just, I told him, you know, Roddy, that fight scene in They Live was, is one of my favorite scenes in film history. And, and when I, I just saw that, I saw that movie like randomly on like Cinemax and I just could never, I never could forget it. And it wasn't until years later, of course, you figure out it's a Carpenter film and it's like, and it's a classic and there's so many things in that movie that people use today with memes and, and it'll go on forever because of the, the sunglass meme. Um, terrific film. So there's some others I like. Uh, the Frogtown movie is fun. The one with Billy Blanks is fun. His scene, his role in Always Sunny in Philadelphia versus the Trash Man is, is really worth a watch. I love Roddy Piper as an actor. And I even have the NECA cloth one, which is, people don't like it. I think it's terrific. Mine is a little more NECA Ultimate. If you want the recipe, just ask. Um, I love this set. I love these figures. Love the man as an actor. You know what, if I may say so, sir, the, the difference is... <laughs> what? Just, just... He, he's going to okay. strike. Just... <laughs> No. Just don't show me your ass again. <laughs> uh, listen, I ain't <laughs> backstage, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, All right. you know, and I'm you not know dropping you... my pants in front of other men. But go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, how'd you get the job? <laughs> and after that clip, you'll see why he was an icon and he was the voice. He was the voice of like wrestling for a while he was the voice for wrestling he was the voice against wrestling and this is his wcw days you know he was the one that was supposed to bring hogan down when the when he joined the nwo roddy was the last man standing to kind of fight the nwo and, and he really much like how he kept or, or propelled wwf in those fir first two wrestlemanias he kind of kicked off WCW um, and then it, what it became to be with Nitro. And, and I love this figure by Mattel. This is, you know, later Roddy Piper, no mullet, two great heads, one screaming, one kind of chilling. I really absolutely adore this figure. And uh, I got to make a special Roddy Piper shelf now. And, um, these figures mean a lot to me. And this is the point I was saying a couple of months ago about the bittersweet um, part of collecting wrestling figures. Cause you, it's bittersweet cause you love to have it, but it's, it's sweet cause you love to have it. It's bitter because you think how sad it is that he, he passed at such a uh, early age, like people like Macho Man did and the Von Erics, of course, which is just a whole other deal. So I just wanted to have a quick video today about Roddy Piper. I, I could, I mean, to, to really do the man justice, it would take an hour to really go over all the ups and downs and crazy things he's done in his career. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video about Hot Rod and, and the figures I own and how much I like them. As always, take care, have fun. And he'd gone back into it to make a living. What, what would you have me do at 49 when I, my pension plan I can't take out till I'm 65? I'm not gonna make 65. Let's just face facts, guys. Woo! Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah!